Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Crown Academy of English. Today we are doing a listening exercise and the subject is bad weather. So let's get started. So the lesson plan for today, first of all we will do some vocabulary. So I will teach you very quickly two new words. Then I will show you the questions for the listening exercise. So you will see the questions on the screen. And then I will play you the news article. So you will listen to the news article. And the news article is about bad weather. And then finally, I will give you the answers to the questions and I will play the article one last time with the transcript on the screen. So after the, the answers, I will show you the text on the screen and you can listen to it again. Okay. So let's start with the vocabulary. The first word is weather forecast. Now a weather forecast is a weather report for the future. So it is a prediction. So very often you see a weather forecast, for example, in the newspaper or on the internet and very often on the television as well, perhaps after the news. So an example, the weather forecast for tomorrow is cloudy with some light rain. Okay, so the weather forecast is a report for the future. And the second word is flood. And this is a flood. Okay. So a flood is when there is a lot of rain and there is too much water and the water rises. And often the water covers a road and even covers houses if there is um, a lot of water. Okay, so two examples using the word flood. There were floods in America last year when it rained for three days. So here floods is the noun. Okay, and very often we put the word in the plural. So this is the noun. There were floods in America last year when it rained for three days. Another example. Yesterday my house flooded during the storm. So here we are using the word flood as a verb. So this is a verb. Okay. So flood is a noun and also a verb to flood. So here, yesterday my house flooded during the storm. Okay, so that is the end of the vocabulary. Now let me give you the questions. Question one. What caused the damage to the wall in the town of Dawlish? Question two. When do forecasters think the weather will start to improve? Question three. How much rain is expected on Thursday? Question four. I would like you to complete the following sentence. So there are six words which I would like you to find. And the beginning of the sentence is 
Robert Parker, a resident of the town of Dawlish, said the storm was and I want you to find the six words that he says. All right. Question five, the last question. Why does Somerset need 10 million pounds for urgent work? Okay. So those are the five questions that I would like you to answer during the listening exercise. Okay, so get ready. You are now going to listen to the news article. I'm now going to play you the article. All right, so get ready. I'm going to play it for you now. Parts of Great Britain have been hit by a storm which has destroyed a railway, forced people from their homes and left thousands without electricity. In the town of Dawlish, in southwest England, the big waves from the sea damaged a wall and caused the railway to be suspended in mid-air. Western Power Distribution said that approximately 44,000 customers had been affected by power cuts since Tuesday afternoon. By Wednesday evening, thousands of homes had been reconnected, but 953 customers were still without electricity in the southwest of England. In the towns of Fordgate and Northmoor, police used a helicopter to advise people in more than 150 houses to leave their homes. Weather forecasters say the weather will start improving on Wednesday evening, but there will be more rain on Thursday. Between 20 and 30 millimetres of rain is expected during the day on Thursday. Robert Parker, a resident of the town of Dawlish, said the storm was like the end of the world. In Parliament, the British Prime Minister, David Cameron, has promised to spend £100 million for flood works, £75 million for repairs over the next year, £10 million for urgent work in Somerset because several rivers have flooded there and £15 million for maintenance. Okay, so that is the end of the article. Okay, so if you need more time, if you would like to listen to that again, you can click here on the screen and you can go back and listen or if you have finished you have answered all the questions then simply wait 10 seconds and I will give you the answers okay Okay, so we will now move on and I will give you the answers to the questions. So, question one was, what caused the damage to the wall in the town of Dawlish? Well, the answer is, the big waves from the sea. And question two was, when do forecasters think the weather will start to improve? And the answer is Wednesday evening. Question three. How much rain is expected on Thursday? Well, the answer is between 20 and 30 millimetres of rain. Okay, so when we say it, this is what we say, millimetres. But when we write it, we write it as an abbreviation and the abbreviation is M M millimeters there are um, 1000 millimeters in one meter question 4 I asked you to complete the following sentence so the answer is Robert Parker a resident of the town of Dawlish said the storm was like the end of the world. 
like the end of the world. And the last question, why does Somerset need £10 million for urgent work? Well, the answer is, several rivers have flooded there. Okay, so those are the answers to the questions. I am now going to play you the article one last time with the text on the screen. So this is the text, this is the transcript, and you are going to listen to it one last time, starting now. Parts of Great Britain have been hit by a storm which has destroyed a railway, forced people from their homes, and left thousands without electricity. In the town of Dawlish, in southwest England, the big waves from the sea damaged a wall and caused the railway to be suspended in mid-air. Western Power Distribution said that approximately 44,000 customers had been affected by power cuts since Tuesday afternoon. By Wednesday evening, thousands of homes had been reconnected, but 953 customers were still without electricity in the southwest of England. In the towns of Fordgate and Northmore, police used a helicopter to advise people in more than 150 houses to leave their homes. Weather forecasters say the weather will start improving on Wednesday evening, but there will be more rain on Thursday. Between 20 and 30 millimetres of rain is expected during the day on Thursday. Robert Parker, a resident of the town of Dawlish, said the storm was like the end of the world. In Parliament, the British Prime Minister, David Cameron, has promised to spend £100 million for flood works, £75 million for repairs over the next year, £10 million for urgent work in Somerset because several rivers have flooded there, and £15 million for maintenance. Okay, so that is the end of the the article with the transcript. Okay, I hope that helped you. And that is also the end of the lesson. So, if you would like to subscribe, then go ahead and click here on the screen. This is my Twitter account, if you would like to follow me on Twitter. And here are two other videos which you might be interested in. This one is a grammar lesson and this one is another listening lesson. All right. If you like the lesson and you have any questions or comments, then please leave a comment below the video. I do enjoy reading all your comments and questions. So please leave a comment. All right. So that is the end. My name is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.